Hi there, it's Sam from Sew That Sparkle with Sam and welcome to my sewing room. Um, I'm here again, another sunny afternoon in Leamington Spa. I've had another quite nice busy week. This week I went to Liverpool at the weekend because my middle son is in Liverpool and um, it was his birthday. So, uh, so yeah, so as I said last time, um, I was working on making him a laptop case and i did and it's been sent off so i will pop some pictures up for you to see um it was a lovely kind of dragon scale print fabric um uh, from vintage sweetheart and a lovely um rainbow like iridescent zip on a roll um which i i think i got in a fabric sale a few months ago it took quite a long time to come um but it was brilliant it came with um 25 zip pulls which was which was quite brilliant um i think it was a 10 meter zip roll um which was great and then it was padded with bosal foam to make it protective for the laptop so and it went down really well my son was delighted um in fact he told me that he thought i'd bought it in paper chase so there you go <laughs> i didn't i made it um probably a lot cheaper than it would have been to buy it in paper chase so yeah so that's what i've been up to um at the weekend um uh, last time um i showed you this beautiful bag um that uh, diane from spencer og sent me because i put a bid for dementia uk um beautiful bag which i was really really delighted with and so this week i've made myself a little matching she sent me a swatch of the fabric and it says sewing glove um and i made myself a little clip clasp purse coin purse to go with it so i'm really delighted with that now with the bag um diane was really kind and actually sent me the the pattern um this for this bag the implicator i think it's called the implicator yeah i think that's what it's called and um and she sent it to, she sent me the pattern so I've made myself another one. I'm in this beautiful Liberty print. Isn't that gorgeous? Little Liberty print pocket. And then some of the iridescent zip put to good use. And then inside pink lining, little pocket. And then this lovely pastel rainbow webbing and silver hardware to match the match the zip pull and of course couldn't be without the uh without a matching coin purse so i made that to match that's got the, the same lining inside so yeah so um yeah really 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 pleased with that and originally um i actually made this for a gift um that i thought i might gift at christmas but um i'm actually thinking i might keep it and make another one um for a gift for christmas so there you go it's funny isn't it but it's, it's a really good pattern really easy pattern to make so that was really nice and then mainly this week i've just been doing a bit of catching up um i didn't have to go into the community shop yesterday i work in a community shop called lots bazaar which is where um lots of local crafters sell all of their wares i sell my my uh, makes in there too um, and i normally volunteer in there on a monday but um, today is Tuesday. I didn't have to volunteer yesterday, so I spent most of the days sewing um, because I've got to go in tomorrow. So, um, so yeah. So if you haven't already seen on my channel, I put on another sewing tutorial yesterday for these really cute little hexagonal baskets. They're so handy. I've got so many, or I think I called it a bowl on my tutorial. Um, I've got so many of these all around the house. They're great for sorting Lego. They're great for dice. They're great for putting earrings in, stray hair bands, um, you know, great for cotton buds or makeup wipes in the bathroom. They're really, really handy and really, really simple to make. You can make them in lots of different sizes. There's a little teeny tiny one. Um, you can make really large ones. And you basically just sew the rectangle. You sew um, a smaller re um, rectangle hexagon you sew the hexagon you sew, sew a smaller hexagon inside and then you've got your uh, fabric bowl and then you just um i've got this on ready to hand sew so yeah 
So that is on my channel, so check that out. Um, if you want to make sure that you see all of my tutorials when they come up, and there's quite a few going on um, in the next, next few days, um, then just like and subscribe and then you'll always see them first. So yeah, so that one's gone on. And then of course, I've got my Mr. Clippy on there, which is a little pin cushion, which is a weighted cushion um, for your clips. And if you do any dressmaking or bag making, like I do, these are great because if you, um, they're just easy to get on and off of um, rather than finding in the in the little bowl. So, um, so yeah, so you can have a look at my tutorial for that too. So yeah, so that's basically what I've been up to this week. Um, I've had a few customer orders, which I thought you might be interested in. One was for one of my fabric cards for a 60th birthday party, which is just a piece of scrap linen and then Liberty print scraps made into some bunting and the numbers. Um, and then a little Liberty print um, doggy bandana. These these go really well in the community shop they're really really popular um and i've got a little blue one as well and also because the sun is shining in leamington spa i've had quite a few orders for buckets hat hats so i've got this little pink bucket hat and a little flowery one with a yellow gingham lining which is uh, which is slightly bigger so yeah so that's what i've been making this week Some more exciting um, news this week is that um, for those of you that don't know, I um, I do a lot of sewing tutorials for the Knit It Stitch It um, group, which is a paid for subscription group. Um, and my tutorials go up there quite regularly. Um, and this week I've been asked if I would do some of the subscription box tutorials, which is very exciting because they have a subscription box as well as the Knitted Stitching Club and for that you get a big box of fabric and all of the notions that you need to make that month's um, thing, whatever it might be. I think there's been an apron, there has been um, lots of bags, there has been uh, like a, a, a wall hanging organiser, there's been a desk organiser, was beautiful drawstring bags all sorts of things um and so yes yeah, so they have asked me if i will help them with um one of their next couple of subscription box project ideas which is very exciting um but very bad for me because it means i have to keep it all a secret and i'm not very good at keeping secrets because i just like to tell everybody um so i'm gonna have to be really good and keep secrets so yes, we'll see. We'll see how well that goes. Um, but if you do want to check out um, the Knit It Stitch It hub, I've got my two tutorials that are up there at the moment. My two new ones, my latest ones, are for fabric crowns. So if you've got someone that's celebrating a birthday or if you want to get ahead for Christmas for in your crackers. Um, and then also I've got a lovely um, fabric postcard tutorial, which is brilliant if you want to find out about um, how to do free motion embroidery because I break it down and it's and I do it really really simply it's kind of like large applique templates so they're really easy to go around and you can even I even show you how to do them if you haven't got an applique free motion um, ability on your machine if you can just do straight stitch you can still make a postcard so um, I think if you've got a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch you can still do all of the all of the bits on the postcard so that's a nice one to check out if you um if you've got a spare 10 minutes or so and you fancy joining the knitted stitch it club then um, then have a look on there i'll try and add all of these links in i'm very new to um, youtube and i'm learning lots so um do bear with me if i don't if it's not quite as sleek as some of the of the channels that you watch but if you do enjoy watching me then please like and subscribe and um and then i can carry on so yeah. <laughs> so I think the rest of this week is going to be work based and sewing based. Um, the weekend should be quite fun. We've got quite a few fun activities with friends and stuff to do. And then more, more of the same, more sewing next week. Um, and then my month starts again um, to do more tutorials. So, so that's, that's that. 
So thanks ever so much for listening and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.